Hello everyone. Uh, today is June 8th, 2024. National Board of Examination is going to conduct GPAT 2024 today. So in this video, I will explain the general instructions and tips to get qualified in GPAT exam. Now NBE is going to conduct GPAT 2024 on June 8th from afternoon 2 to 5 p.m. The exam is a computer based examination. And uh, see, even though the exam starts at 2 o'clock, students are allowed to the center from 12 noon. Because it is a computer based examination, most of the centers are Ion Digital Centers. So they will be allow students from 12 pm till 1.30 pm. Understand, even though the exam is at 2 pm, they will only allow till 1.30 pm. So make sure that you reach the center well in advance to avoid last minute rush. Now when you come to the examination, what needs to be taken is, see admit card is given, it, it is there in NBE site. Admit card has got two papers. There are clear cut instructions to take a printout of that admit card. The two pages you need to take a printout on an A4 size paper on both sides. One page on one side and another side second page. See a normal uh, black and white Xerox is also fine. But what is important is along with that admit card you need to carry a photo ID card original one. Photo ID card means you will have your photo along with your uh, name and details. Uh, Aadhaar, voter card, PAN card, driving license, all of them will be good. But make sure that you are carrying original photo ID card. So only these two things are enough. And most of the electronic goods are not allowed. See, even the smartwatch is not allowed. So make sure you are not carrying any of those things. Coming to the examination, see, uh, from this year onwards, the exam is going to be conducted by National Board of Examination, NBE. But the pattern, everything is very similar like previous years. Total number of questions are 125 questions. Each question carries 4 marks. For a wrong answer, the negative marks are minus 1. Now, when you see the previous year's pattern, the cutoff is around 140 marks. Again, understand the cutoff will be decided by total number of students who are appearing for the examination and the average marks they scored. Uh, but for the past couple of years, the cutoff is around 140 for open category, 120 for OBC. So it just varies, but the average scores are like that. Now understand this. See, when you see the previous uh, uh, statistics, every year around 50,000 students are writing GPAT examination. Out of 50,000, only 5,000 are getting qualified. Less than 5,000 to be precise. Now understand this, why only 10% students are getting qualified? See, no doubt the exam is difficult, tough one, but many of the students do not know how to attempt this competitive test. That is the reason why they are getting disqualified. Let us understand this. See, you have 125 questions out there and uh, the cutoff is around 140 marks for open category. 140 marks means you need to get correct answers for 35 questions. It is only 30% of the total questions. Only 35 questions if you could get correct answers without getting any negatives, you will be qualified. Now the real problem is negative marks. Understand this. See, though the pattern says every wrong answer you will get minus one. So totally you will be losing five marks. See, each question has got four marks. If you are giving a wrong answer, you don't get that four marks. Along with that, a penalty of one mark will be deducted. So totally you will be losing five marks. So students make sure that if you know the answer exactly, attempt it. If you, out of four options, if there is a confusion between two questions, you can do it because there is a 50% ch chance of getting it right. If you don't know anything about it, please don't answer that. Understand out of 125, if you could get correct answers for 35 without negatives, you will get qualified. Now let us understand another aspect. See, over the period of time, All India rank one student is scoring around 300 marks, around 300, not exactly, around 300 marks. Now 300 marks means, see, the All India first rank student is, co is, is getting correct answers only for 75 questions. See, you get correct answers for 35 questions, you will get qualified. If you get 75 questions correct, you will get uh, All India rank 1, around rank 1. That means even the first rank holder could not do 50 questions. 125 questions, only he could do 75 uh, correct answers. So 50 questions he could not do. The reason why I am talking about this is, see, Many students has this tendency to answer every question. Don't do it. Even the All India first ranker could not do 50 questions correctly. So just leave it if you don't know the answer. If you don't know the answer, just leave it. You get correct answers for 35 questions, you will get qualified. If you get pushed to 60 or 70, you will be in top 10. 
So these are the things that are there. The other thing is, see, stress is one of the major factor. When you see the questions, they are a little bit tricky and difficult. So you tend to get stressed when you see many questions for which you don't know the answer. Don't worry about it. It happens. So don't get stressed and don't, uh, the stress will affect the next question. So take a break, take deep breaths and try to answer the remaining questions. If you don't know the answer, if, if there is no clue about uh, options, don't attempt it. The last, last but not least, see many students have got this tendency. You have time is from two to five, three hours is there. So they will answer it again. They'll go back and change the answers. Don't do it. See, statistically, it is proven that any student who is changing the answer, 70% of the time, he will get, he'll give a wrong answer. So don't change it. During that stress time, your brain will give multiple answers. Go, don't go back and change it. Look at the question, decide then and there what is the correct option could be. Give it and move ahead. Don't go back. I hope these tips are useful. All the best for the examination.